Okay, so I'm here with a quick tutorial on how to use the blur feature in OpenShot um, while using just a small area of the video that you want to blur out. For me, my application is blurring out a license plate, and uh, let's get started with showing you how to do that. So uh, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a video editing software genius. I am not a open shot uh, knowledge genius. Um, I edit my own videos. I'm a kind of a DIY guy, so I'd like to figure out how to do things myself. So you can start with your clip that you want to blur for me. I want to blur out my license plate here. So uh, I'm going to go to the part where I want to blur. So right here. So of course as my truck as my truck pulls out, I want it to, to the blur to follow my truck without any really super fancy editing stuff here. Um, so first of all, I'm going to copy this clip. And then I'm going to paste it above. Okay, so I should be, you know, this is this is equal. So now I want to slice it and keep the right side because this is basically where I'm going to start the blur at this point and then follow the truck out to to do. So uh, when you crop, it's easier to just extend the clip out past the clip that you're working on and that way you can actually see the crop happen real time. So let me find the crop in here. Drag the crop onto the clip hit the C. Now you have your parameters here for uh, where you want your crop to begin. <clears throat> you add the crop, it's going to crop the entire video from the point that you add it forward. So uh, you want there to be a starting point for the crop. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so these values are 44, 58, 34, and 48. Um, I can't remember that, so I'm going to have to write it down real quick. And not that it's super important that you remember those, but if you want it to, to be the same without uh, any kind of interference on the video, then, <clears throat> then you can come back to those numbers. So 44, 58, 34, and 48. I'm going to reset these so I can see the video. Okay, so I want the crop to end right about there. So then I'm going to change. The blur again. To about like that. Maybe a little bit more rectangle. <clears throat> okay. So now as I move my cursor backwards, you see the video panning open. Okay, until I get to the very start point where it'll go to the original. All right, so I made a, another second crop that opened the video back up right about here. You can see that everything turned green. That means that this is a, a crop point. So I'm gonna, Put these parameters back to the the very first parameters which are the ones i wrote down so this is going to be 44 this one's going to be 58 this one's going to be 34 and this one's going to be 48. okay so now from the very beginning it's going to follow my truck all the way to the point and I see how it, it, it's kind of going ahead of where the truck is now I can fix that so I can start at this point right here and just widen it out a little bit more Okay. 
like so. And then I can slice it and dice it. I'm going to keep the left side. I added the marker already for where the uh, the playhead needs to be, where the crop needs to start, so the video will be the same. So you can see there's not a whole lot of difference there. You can see a little box that's a little bit different. So what we're going to do with that box now is add the blurring effect. Now it's a little off, probably a little forward. So if I move this back a hair, Actually, it needs to be forward here. That's a little too much. Okay, let me go to smaller frames. That's probably spot on. Then I'm going to add the blur. Now this kind of bogs my computer down a little bit. But it should work. So now I got a blur. And now that blur follows my license plate. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it was helpful. If it was, please uh, please like it. Uh, you can share it. Uh, you can subscribe if you think that my content is, is pretty good and you'd like to see more. Um, I do all kinds of different things with uh, just general stuff that I do in my life. Uh, uh, I work with horses. I like to do my own mechanic stuff, building things. Um, so you name it, I like to do it. Um, hope to see you on future videos. You have a great day and thanks for joining in.